Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and my freeze dryer is up and running. Yeehaw, I'm so happy. I've waited for this thing for like 10 years. You have no idea. Um, yeah, so my husband put it together. It was a booger getting it downstairs and then finding a place that, you know, would support it quite well because it has to have a lot of ventilation around it. So we got it all set up. He put it together um, this morning. Well, you have to let him sit for 24 hours before you do anything to him. And that was longer than the two months I waited for it plus the 10 years I waited for it. It's like I knew that was down there and I just wanted to go and tear into that sucker and have a ball. So, um, it sat for the 24 hours. Now we got it, uh, I went downstairs, I did the initial test uh, on it and then I've got bread in it right now because you have to do your first run has to be what they call a burn run. So they want you to put some, you know, moist bread in there and let it run its course and then it'll it'll absorb all the um like new car smells out of it so and then you're ready so that's in there right now it's probably gonna take about five hours i would think you know and then it's done but i've already got four trays of cut up veggies just you know um odds and ends in my freezer peppers and i think some carrots or no peppers and turnips and a excuse me, not turnips, peppers and parsnips, Brussels sprouts, and I can't remember what all. But I have got so much stuff that I'm going to work on freeze drying. You're going to see um, when I put the stuff in there, when I bring it out. But, you know, to chop it up, you all know how to chop stuff. You know, you chop it however you want it. You can do hash browns. I've got a, some huge potatoes that my friend gave me that she, you know, they didn't want. Um, it was the last year potatoes and I thought you know what this is perfect because I'm gonna freeze dry these and I'm gonna freeze dry these like the um, Potatoes O'Brien or O'Brien potatoes. However, you know, I did some from my freezer I've used them since so they didn't last long. Well, I'm gonna freeze dry some of them and I'm gonna do a video on that um, I've got all these onions. We've always got just mega tons of onions so I'm going to freeze dry the onions some with the potatoes, some on their own, but I'm going to show you. I've got a beautiful little ninja uh, blender, a smart blender. I'm, I'm going to grind some of that onion into onion powder. Good idea, hey? I've got celery in here. I've got carrots and tomatoes, which I'm not going to do anything with the tomatoes right now, but I am going to freeze dry them. Um, apples, and of course I got squash, but I'm not going to freeze dry that. That's just going to... I'm just going to store that downstairs. Um, so I just wanted to tell you what was going on so that you didn't think I, you know, I forgot about this or I wasn't going to share my freeze dryer uh, journey with you because, of course, I am. And um, we'll be going down there in a few minutes, and I'll, I'll show you the setup. I'm so excited. It, it just made my day. Um, so, but for right now, I'm just chopping this. Uh, the I'm going to chop up the celery and the carrots and the cabbage and I'm just going to pre-freeze them in bags so that way when I'm ready to freeze dry them I can just empty the bags right out on a trace and away they go in the freeze dryer. So hang with me. I'm going to chop some of this stuff up. Enjoy the music and then I'll take you downstairs and I'll show you the piece of art sitting on that table. I am so excited friends. This is just amazing.
Okay, friends. It's a little loud. I hope you can hear me okay. But, uh, let's see, I got my washer and dryer there. I got it setting on that cabinet. Nice, sturdy, solid cabinet. So, this is my, what's called my burn run. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. It's drying. It's already been in there for, oh, almost three hours. But anyway, that is our setup. Um, we got the little Premier pump here. It's just the one that comes with it. And over here, I got um, a fan because this gets so hot, you wouldn't even be able to touch it. And it's warm right now, but it's not screaming hot. But uh, So I got this fan here that's going to keep cooling that down. And I think that's a good idea. But I'm all excited, and I can't wait for that to go. There's four trays in there. I got a couple, two, three slices of uh, bread on each tray. So that's the initial run. This is where it's set up. And uh, this is where you'll be when I start filling it with all my goodies. Well, there you go. You've seen it down there. It's like a work of art sitting on the table. Um, I've had my friends tell me, oh, you should get a kilowatt meter to, um, you know, get a general idea or to find out just how much electricity it uses with each load. Um, plug it into that. Well... I'm not plugging that into anything except the wall outlet because in the book, I read that book cover to cover. And if you plug that machine into a meter that's plugged into the wall or anything like that or a six-way or anything like that, it totally voids your warranty. And I am not taking that chance for any reason. I will know how much that electricity or how much electricity that uses when I get my bill next month, which I know it's not going to be a whole lot because um, I know what I use. Anyway, so that's it, friends. I'm going to finish chopping up all my veggies, and I just wanted you to see how it's, it's up and running. Um, when that batch is done, the bread, the initial bread run is done, then I'm free to start, you know, freeze-drying whatever. So I'll show you when I put my first batch in there and then I'll show you when it comes out. I'm doing diced potatoes because I thought about doing hash browns but you're really kind of limited to what you can do. This way I can fry these up if I want for a breakfast meal. Um, I can use them in casseroles. I can use them in soups and stews. All that. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you how I, real simply, dice these up. I cheat. I use my, my Vidalia chopper. Works out fantastic. See? I'll show you how nice they do. Nice diced. So I'm going to get all these diced, and then when... I'm done dicing them all up. I'll show you because we need to blanch them. You still have to blanch them. Otherwise, they will turn brown. They might not turn brown in the freeze dryer, but they will turn that icky, nasty brown when you rehydrate them. Okay, my potatoes are all here. My water is boiling, and I'm going to fling them right in there. Here. And then when this comes back up to a boil, because these are not huge chunks, I'm just going to... Blanch them for about two to three minutes. And then when that's done, I'll be back. But I want to give them a little stir first. Okay, so these are going to blanch, and then I'm going to put them in cold water right away, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to drain these. Strainer. I'm gonna put them right in my cold water. Okay, that's how simple that is. I'm just gonna leave them in there to cool off and stop the cooking. I don't want that green one in there. All 
All right, friends, they're just going to sit here and drain a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to, um, I'll put them on the trays and get them in the freezer. Okay, here we go, friends. I have got my four trays ready for my freeze dryer. And they, they've been in the freezer overnight. So everything's frozen on here. And that you don't have to do that because you've got a setting on your freeze dryer that will let you do um, fresh or frozen. So, but the pre-frozen, it just, it doesn't take as long. It, it, it speeds it up a little. Anyway, I've got tomatoes and bell peppers, uh, diced potatoes, which I did blanch. I showed you that. And celery. And I didn't blanch the celery. There's no need to. So, let's go downstairs, let's put these in the freeze dryer and get them going. Okay friends, we are down here. This is my little piece of art, I love this thing. Okay, you can't see this because as I'm looking on my camera, this is too bright. But I had to cool the chamber for 15 minutes, which we just did that. And now it's telling me to load food into the freeze dryer and close drain valve. So, we're going to load this in here. all there is to it. It is that simple. So that probably is going to take 24 to, they say 24 to 30 hours for each batch. So we'll find out. But when this is done, I'll bring you back and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, friends, this is done. I did drain the I opened up the valve for the drain, ho drain hose and it let all the, the air out. And I'm going to check these. And these are amazing. These are, look, beautiful. And look, they just crumble. They're so soft. I'll show that to you when we go upstairs. I'm just taking them out of here. And here's our tomatoes. Oh, they're just light. They're, they're really light. Okay. Those will go up too. This is our celery. That's just as light as can be. Okay. And these are the diced potatoes. So we'll take those upstairs. Everything is dry. Nothing's cold in the center. So, okay. I'm going to shut this because I do have another batch to go. So I'm going to shut this and I'm going to hit defrost. Dra uh, keep drain valve open, which I'm going to do. Remove product from dryer. Close door. I did all that. Continue. It'll defrost for two hours and then I can start another batch. Everything here, this is, well, you can see that, right down here, I keep this little fan, it's back here on this, and see, I can touch this, so I know that is good, okay, so it's keeping that nice and cool, all right, I can turn that fan off, maybe, All right, we're gonna take our goodies upstairs. All right, friends, look at all this beautiful bunch of food. I've got peppers and tomatoes, and I just did these in half. Oh, you know what? These are gonna need more time. See, that's cold. It's not supposed to be cold. That will destroy your whole bunch. 
I'm going to take those down, cancel the defrost, and give them more time. And then we've got the celery is all, the celery is good. Beautiful. And these potatoes, listen, they're like bread. See that? The consistency of that? Listen, it's like bread. Beautiful. This turned out really good. And my peppers. Look how gorgeous. Hear that? Beautiful. All right, I'm going to get these packaged up because these cannot stay out very long. They will start absorbing moisture from the air. I'm going to get the tomatoes back down there, give them another few hours, maybe two hours of dry time. And then um, I will see you in the next video. Now, I'm going to do several videos with my um, freeze dryer, so you'll see them all. And this is, this is a good one for now. This is my very first batch, and friends, I am so pleased. Um, if any of you are thinking about buying one of these, I will put the information down in the description box, you know, the link to the website where you can buy them where I got mine. And you all have a good day and thanks for watching.